Wow. Um, Andy for breakfast, Mike B. A. K. Phony. Uh, there's something really wrong uh, with Fraps, I think. Uh, which is. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so. I'm using XSplit to record because the game, this game, is so low res that it actually is only rendering like 128 pixels by something. That's why the Fraps timer right there is so huge. So I'm gonna actually all tab out really quick uh, and see it's gonna freeze for a moment. I'm gonna exit Fraps uh, and then come back to the game. Here we go. All right, anyways. Uh, so, <laughs> I'm gonna stop that really quick. So my name's Mike B.A.K. Phony. You are watching uh, Andy for Breakfast and this game is called Coral Slayer. And it is available on Desura for $2.99. It is a platformer and it's described as this. A botched lobotomy leaves Sam Asherton with the ability to see ghosts. Armed with dual magnums, players take control of Sam as he adventures through creepy landscapes, battles the undead, and hunts down the internet's most famous monsters. So, I'm gonna let you guys pick out some of these internet's most famous monsters. I don't want to. There might be a couple here that I might recognize, possibly. Uh, but at, uh, I'm pretty sure some of you guys, you guys are sleuths. You guys know everything. The internet knows all. Okay, that kind of, kind of maybe wet my pants a little bit. All right, jump and shoot. Latin for Walking Evil Dead. I hear that you have a special way of dealing with these entities, Mr. Sam. Yeah, dual magnums, of course. Uh, I cannot see the spiritual realm as clear as you can, but I do sense the evil is lurking within. My tarot cards can foretell the future of your travel, so please step forward and choose your path. Stage select. Stage select, really? Wow. Then we'll take level one. Hey, Slenderman. Uh, Oh, it even tells you, actually. Uh, <laughs> the Midwest. I thought it was gonna be surprised or something. Anyways, Children's Woods. Okay. I guess we're playing Slenderman. On the hunt, Slenderman. Nice. And let's shoot that. Jump, jump. This thing, uh, play. You know, maybe kind of difficult. To, what the hell is that thing? Oh, it's like a puppet. Oh, what is this? Did I go to the ghost realm? Ah. What happens to this wolf thing? Is that an exclamation point? Is that what that is? Oh no, it's just a graphic. Ah, see, I thought it was an exclamation point over the dog. I walked by, see how it disappears for a second? And I was like, oh, cool, it's like a, that, that doesn't even a dog, it's a rock! God damn, see what happens when you're playing? What am I even doing anymore? Jesus, what are you doing, what are you doing? No, 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 no. I should stop jumping and just start shooting. Okay, I can't aim up, good to know. <laughs> Good to know after I've been attacked from above there. Oh, what the? <laughs> Damn it. That was not a rock. Oh, jeez. The ring girl, maybe? Okay. How about I use... Oh. How about I maybe use the undead realm to get away from stuff? Oh, God. No, it doesn't work. Okay. Taking damage. Jeez. Alright, still getting used to the game, guys. I can duck. Yep. Now, anyways, I was trying to say that the frame rate's really good. Uh, but you can't tell because you're watching on YouTube. Okay, what is that thing? Okay, it's like a bear trap. Oh, God. Can't even jump over it. Nope. Hey, I made it to the end of the level. God. Oh, no, I didn't. Jeez. Dead end. That's where I'm going. That's hilarious. Okay, uh, it's out of reach. Okay. I have unlimited ammo. Oh, I can just hold it down. Look at that. Wow. Learning. We we're learning, guys. Hey, look, it's the ring thing. I can't do anything with it, though. What was that? Did you see I got health back? Damn it. There's not a whole lot of information on the game. And it's a tutorial, so we're just jumping, like, just... Balls in, let's just go. Here we go. And 
you. It, it, this game kind of gives me a feel. Oh, damn it. Damn that stupid bear trap. This game gives me, uh, for those of you guys who might remember, there was a game, uh, Friday the 13th, and it was available on the Nintendo. It was a terrible, terrible game. Um, it was so bad. It was so incredibly bad. I am not gonna kill her. Oh god, whoa! Oh my god, there's so much happening! <laughs> there was a hole right there, was that the end? I won't, I won't ever know. Anyways! Um, this kind of has that feel to it. Slightly eerie. Music's a little bit eerie. Not, not too, too much over the top. Can't skill for chickens to me? Yes, okay. Then that's the method that we shall use. Damn it. Oh, crap. Oh god, those things take more than one shot now. Is that thing gonna follow? Is that thing following? Okay, good. Like, it, it's just eerie enough to kind of be scary. Not scary, but... Creepy, or... Just, yeah, just... Not... Okay, I don't know, what the heck? Do I get anything out of the box? No, I don't. The big asshole, I guess that's where I go. What's the point in switching? Oh, one up? What? Oh, damn it. Thanks, there's a one up up there. That's awesome. <laughs> Can I jump up? Oh, no, I can't. Okay. So, monsters uh, still damage me when I'm in that realm. But... What? Should I just check it every once in a while? Oh, the rumors of the Slender Men are ridiculous. Not only do they say he can extend his limits, but now they say he can teleport. Ha! Wait, is that just like... Is that... Like, other realm text? See, I think the... Oh, there's an... Oh, it's written on the wall there. Oh. Hey. Oh god, of course I take a damage from stupid thing. I have to remember that that realm does not protect me from anything. Gonna kill this thing. Nothing. Sweet. I wish I could shoot up or something. It's very limited. I tried using my controller, but unfortunately it didn't work. Uh, I'm sure with X pattern or something like that, I could probably make it happen. Huh. Some of the bob some of the mobs take one, two hits. The other ones don't. Oh, don't go back, go back, go back. There's a guy right there. Alright. Spiders. Swap over really quick. The ghosts that are running, I can't do anything, I can't interact with them or do anything. Hey, it's up, it's up, it's up, it's up. Oh, the last thing I remember seeing is a dismembered hand. It's coming right for me. It's creepy. The game's definitely creepy. A little slightly unnerving, even though it's, I mean, use your imagination, of course. You know, it's visually not gonna jump out and scare you. That spider is just so agile. It's right through my bullets, guy. Um, but yeah, just enough to be slightly disturbing. Use your imagination. Friday the 13th was, it's funny, Friday the 13th for the Nintendo. Some of you guys might remember this. Um, albeit a terrible game, it was scary because you'll walk for days, nothing happens. And then all of a sudden, Jason Voorhees comes out of nowhere. <laughs> it just kills you. And you're just like, crap. And then you're like, oh, that person's dead. And like, send somebody else out or something. It was, it was one of those games. It was, it was difficult. It didn't tell you how to do anything. But I can imagine that if if I knew how to play the game, it wouldn't be anywhere near as fun as having to learn it because it was so suspenseful uh, because of that. Now there's a bloody something there. If I switch over, nothing. Is there anything? Oh damn it! Stupid bear trap! Damn it! I hate myself. Oh god. See, now we're playing Pitfall, guys. There we go. Go, fire, fire. Don't stop firing. Whoa, that one fell. 
So it just keeps going. It's very, it's continuous, which is great. I like the, the other realm that you swap to. Is this thing gonna fall? Okay, I guess now I'm full. Oh, a building it says beware of the falling meat. Falling meat. Whoa! Is this just a shooter? Is that all that's happening? I'm just running and shooting random things. I like that when I switched realms, there was a bit of of depth there. It was like, ooh, yeah, the Slenderman, something, something, something. Is that thing a fall? Yep. But now, it's kind of like, eh. Keep checking. Okay, if that thing falls, it's slightly unfair. Okay. <sighs> nice. Alright. Oh, here he is! Oh. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> uh, can I just res in place? Cool mechanic, though, for the boss. Let me just actually get in this corner here. Can't really block those. I could jump? No. This is here and just pump full of lead. Like a boss. I uh, can't really do anything about it if he's right there, but sure. Yeah, Mike B, number one. I've defeated Slenderman. Stage complete. <laughs> oh, so that's his game, huh? Alright, I've defeated that. What is this? Oh, Weeping Angels. Huh. Didn't get a whole lot out of the switching. You know, like, there wasn't a whole lot there. Switching, you know, different scenes and whatnot to... The other realm wasn't all that great. I love this pseudo uh, Castlevania approach, where instead of walking up like a boss, he's just like gets out of the cab. Yeah, me and my Magnums have a date uh, in the cemetery tonight. Oh, hey, what's up? Whoa. Okay, shouldn't do that. Oh, okay, wrong button. Spa I'm space bar jumping out of just sheer habit. <laughs> hmm. Then yep. And then where are you going? Okay. Come down to my to my line of bullets here. We'll take care of that. No problem. Oh really? All right then. And you? Why don't I touch it then? Nothing. Okay. Whoa! whoa oh damn it! Committed. Should've committed to one way. There it is. Oh, hey! You got through my thing! So did you! Oh, I didn't check the other realm. I'm sure there was something that I missed. Cool concept, not using it enough though. I already went through an entire level there and, and like didn't do anything with it. It was... It was just a place where you occasionally get notes, creepy notes. Uh, but that's it. Didn't really come in handy. I'll keep checking it here. Yeah. Hmm. Game's kind of lacking in gameplay. If I stay here for a minute, will something happen? Some crazy sounds. Oh, hey, some backward stuff. Mm hmm. Big, big slammy sounds. Lots of reverb. Again, yeah. Okay. Can I go inside? No, I can't. 
How about here? Oh, hey, one up, it says. But I can't shoot up. My... None of my skills. Can't double jump. Jump. Nope. Okay. Oh, something opened up? Yes. Alright, cool. So there's a... There's a free man up there. But I don't have anything to climb. Huh. It's possible I have to come back uh, later on? It looks like the levels are replayable. Maybe I get something unlocked later on and come back. Get my free man. I'm checking constantly because I want to see if there's something there to add to the gameplay. Oh, I can see the difference between two bumpers now. Damn it. One sits lower than the other. Ah, oh, damn it, that was a bad spot. Like that's not one. Okay. Oh. I like the concept. The concept's awesome, but it feels like... I played a game, it was like a ninja game, where like, you're, you're changing between the shadows and the light side. And it was Xbox Live Indie game. Uh, and it was like, it was a cool feature, and actually that game used it a lot better than this one did. Um, at least. Yeah, here... It's not really getting any out of it. It's like, cool, I could change over, I get some text sometime, and... Here's this lady, hey. You got anything for me? No, you don't. Alright, I'll go back. Pumpkin. Okay, nothing. Ooh. See, there we go. Alright, now I'll switch over. That was a health thing, I just happened to change over earlier, right in front of one. There's a, the, the box. Can I kill him? When he comes out? No. He just jumps out, scares you. Is there anything in here? What was that move? Yeah. Okay. Nothing. Uh, gameplay feels a little repetitive at this point. Are all my abilities really just... I mean, I get it. I have... Move left, right. Shoot. Left, right. Jump. Those are my abilities. Um... Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god. Can't get away. Can't get away. So that's kind of nice. Look at that. So we see uh, a, a cross there. And then we see it's all beat up here. It's kind of neat. Nothing, alright. I almost get a, a Ghosts and Goblins vibe from this particular level. So I hear the theme song now. <laughs> oh, that game was ridiculous and difficult. Still checking. I'm waiting for something to jump out at me and be like, "Hey, that's crazy." Like right, at the, right at the start, right there was a screen at the beginning, the menu screen, and all of a sudden, oh, hey, look at that, and bloop. I uh, that little the 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 little scary girl came out of nowhere and like you know I was like oh hey got a little bit of a jump out of me from there wasn't expecting that but now you know we're just kind of like eh really I guess yeah I'm sure, I'm sure. I'll take that boy death sure is a wimp. Yeah, wow, gameplay is getting so repetitive. 
I'm not getting anything else out of it. Damn it. Oh, I'm kind of I'm kind of disappointed because the premise is so great, right? You fought I fought Slenderman. The boss mechanics kind of cool. Granted, I just stayed in the corner and just kind of you know did that stuff. But that's that happens in every game, you know? Like you're always gonna come across these games where it's like, oh, I found out that if I just do this, it's like every oh, it's super easy. Oh, I see. Okay, did you want to look at? Okay. Okay, do I fire shot and turn around? Why fire shot and turn around? Wait, fire. I can't really turn it fast enough. <laughs> I'm not entirely certain how I'm supposed to fight these guys. Ah, they hit each other. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Damn. Damn, damn. Alright. And one more life. Oh, I guess not. Well, I figured it out. But I don't really feel like going back and playing it. To be honest. <laughs> uh. All right, guys. Well, that's uh, that's Coral Slayer. Sorry, I just don't. I, uh, initially, like when I hit this button, it's like, uh, where's it at? Which one was it? Space bar. Which one? There you go. And you're like, oh, did it? Oh, good. I was like, whoa, right? It kind of threw me off a little bit, but uh, uh, now it's like, eh. <laughs> it's like whatever. Uh, if you guys want to see what the other options are, we'll go ahead and see if we could get through this. Yep. Yep. Oh, all my progress is gone, huh? One shot or nothing, huh? Uh, let's see, we'll just check. I'll check this one. Hey, skin taker. Uh, ah, we exited desktop, yeah, probably. Anyway, I think that's good enough. But, uh, yeah. Game's called Coral Slayer. It's available for $2.99 on Desura. Uh, I don't know if it's available anywhere else. Actually, I can just probably pull that up really quick. Uh, a lot of times, we know this ahead of time. But, unfortunately, some of them are kind of uh, difficult to, to, to pull up, depending on their name. Uh, in this case, this one is available on Indievania as well, uh, for the same price. That's pretty typical. Yeah, you'll see it come across on pretty much everything for about the same price. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's, that's it, guys. Um, my name is Mike B.A.K. Phony. This game is, uh, a simple game. Not, didn't quite meet my expectations for a game that's supposed to be a bit of a thriller, especially after that first little shock scare thing. Uh, I was thinking maybe it was gonna actually kind of develop off that and maybe I could use this alternate world here a bit more than just finding power-ups. That was kind of, I kind of, oh, and random text. Uh, okay. Oh, here we go. Look. Uh, what is this? Evil puppet down from the sky. If I had a weapon, I could have done some damage in those moments. Yeah, see, that's, some of that stuff's kind of cool. But, I mean, how many times was I flipping back and forth? I wasn't really getting anything out of it. It was almost like, uh, are they giving me tool tips? You know, are they giving me uh, tutorial uh, type tips and, uh, and hints? In here, don't do that. Give me something cool to do in this alternate reality, alternate verse, the ghost world, ultimate realm, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> alternate dimension, <laughs> parallel is, yeah, we can go on forever. Anyways, my name is Mike BAK Phony. Game's called Coral Slayer. It's available on Desura and Indivania for $2.99. You can check it out. And that's it. And for breakfast, see you guys later.